M, you just wouldn't get it. Yeah, I agree. She wouldn't. What? Why not? Because I'm not single? I'm not going there today. But it's not just that. You and Jake have been together since high school. Way before dating apps were even a thing. Thima, sure. Thankfully, it's been a while for me. But you've got it so good. Meeting your love before online dating became a thing. What still gets me is how you've only done it with one person your whole life. At least Jack knows exactly what I like. <laughs> All right, I think the trick to this dating business is you can't be too picky. You've got to put yourself out there to have even a chance of finding someone you connect with. Or the very least, have some fun. And are you having fun? So much. Things didn't work out with those two guys I told you about, but I was chatting to someone else anyway, and we just went on a second date. It was amazing. But I need to... But I need to... Need to... What is it? Can't say it. Not here. Why not? Is it? You need to get tested. We haven't been using condoms. And I just found out that one of them has been seeing other people while we were hooking up. Thema! Emily, you're not helping. It's not easy for us to talk about it, especially outside of marriage. It's a taboo in our culture. But really, we should talk about it more as it affects our overall health. Why don't you visit your GP? She could test you. My GP is this older lady my friend's mom put me in touch with. I know she wouldn't tell anyone. Obviously, she has to keep it private, but I just can't help feel like she'll judge me. You know, I already say it. The last thing I need is to be shamed. Oh, I get that. Doctors can be so intimidating and always in a rush. It's like they're not even listening to you. Um, and it doesn't help. Your doctor is someone from our community. It would feel strange having an auntie knowing your private business. But getting checked is super important, Thima. I used to go every time I did it with someone new. Really? But my GP really scares me. Well, it helps to find the right one for you. It's like dating. Mine is great. It took me a while. Some doctors are so culturally clueless. I used to go to one that was quite insensitive about my African background. He had no idea how it influenced my views and experiences with my body and around my sexual health. So how did you find yours in the end? Well, I thought about the clinic's location, somewhere close to home or work, as well as if they do bulk billing. But for me, it was really important that they had female GPs with a practice focusing on migraines. I never thought of seeking someone so specific, but it makes sense. It really helps. Also remember, doctors here are safe, informative, and you're always in control. It's your body. There's nothing to be ashamed of. Yeah. Cheers to that.